In recent years, we've seen more and more uprisings and revolutions all over the world. In an unstable and uncertain world, the path to peace, prosperity and justice depends on strong and legitimate constitutional foundations. International IDEA convened partners DRI, USIP and Interpeace and representatives of civil society from 21 countries met in Barcelona to discuss how participatory constitution building, which gives the people a voice in deciding their own destiny, can contribute to a more stable and harmonious world. It has this power to shape a country and to define what are the rules of the game. It sets out what are the powers and functions of the government and what are the limits of government. It talks about who we are and who we want to be. To have discussions with the citizens. Where do we want to go? What are the set of rules that we want to be governed by? Constitutions sort of assist to have everyone being able to enjoy uh, democracy. Constitutions play a critical role in reducing conflict and securing democracy, human rights and the rule of law. But only if they can respond to the fears, concerns, hopes and desires of their citizens. Think about that for one second. Look at the nature of violent conflict today. Conflict, political transition, the source of them is the, is the people themselves. And one of the main areas that Sri Lanka has gone wrong in the past is this issue of removing the populace, the people from the constitution making processes. As we spoke about with Ukraine and Tunisia and other countries, it's the people in those squares, it's those citizens that are saying that we want a new constitution. They must know their rights they must know how they can defend their rights. Nowadays, all the constitutions start with we the people. Constitution building assistance is an important and growing field. International IDEA focuses on the provision of comparative knowledge to provide options, not answers, for national decision makers. Why is such assistance important? You get to learn from other countries which had even more complicated uh, situations than your own. Learning from CSOs that have already gone through the process of constitution building, ratification and implementation, it's of an amazing value. We don't have to reinvent the wheel uh, and it's important that we can draw on lessons as they're applicable to our own local context. International assistance is most effective when it's coordinated. IDEA regularly convenes organizations in the field to work together and share knowledge. The most unlikely outcome of a democratic transition is a sustainable democracy. And so the challenge that we're facing is really difficult. So it's very important that we coordinate also because I think we're each good at different things. We're enriching the entire field by working more closely together and generating knowledge that the entire field can benefit from. We are all have very common goals and aspirations for supporting the constitution-making processes. And I think we all see that in this field, there are certain gaps for us to work more effectively. So by sharing resources, by sharing knowledge specifically, um, we can all help each other to do a better job and cover more constitution-making processes effectively. In countries from Nepal to Chile, Sri Lanka to Tunisia, IDEA is working with local and international partners to improve constitutional foundations for democratic change. Democracy should not be defined in the confines of those who have access to resources, but uh, should be for everyone. Mm -hmm.